Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Random Action, and welcome to my 2,000 subscriber special, where I thought maybe I would take you all on a tour of my office and work place, and just kind of give you all a look into what I've got for animation and anime and all of the uh, adjacent paraphernalia that goes with it. This isn't going to be one of those videos where I pull every disc off a shelf and show you guys what the cover looks like because, well, I watched a few of those to see what kind of video I should be making right now and they really kind of bored me. So instead we're just going to kind of go through, I'll talk a little bit about stuff, tell you some stories, and you all can get to know me a little better as we go. But before we start, I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you all for being here and getting me to the 2000 sub point because I never really thought that I'd even get this far. So thanks for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoy the look at the collection and the video. And as usual, like and subscribe if you love all things animated and animation adjacent. So without further ado, let's take a look. Hey everyone, welcome to my office. Uh, I thought we'd start over here by the door and I could just go through with some of my uh, decor here first. As you can probably tell I'm a pretty big fan of the Fallout games and uh, recently horror movies, so recent as in probably the past seven to ten years. Uh, I also, as any of you who've watched my channel for any amount of time know, a fairly big G.I. Joe fan and the G.I. Joe classified line is pretty much the only toy line I've been collecting consistently from this modern era. So, got some of my leftover stuff from my military time. Hey everyone, it's Editing Dr. Random Action. I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of the gaps where I'm not talking because I'm concentrating on filming and can't multitask. So, these are my uh, classic and retro consoles. I think I've got most everything represented down there. And honestly, I don't have a ton of retro games, but not a, not too bad a collection. Most of my favorites on Genesis, at least. And there's also one of the Animaction animals hanging out. She's actually in Dr. Anim, uh, Dog Tour Animaction's bed right now. One of them. Is, he's got many around the house. Uh, this is just my office entertainment center. You see it's got the last gen consoles. I do have the next gen consoles, but they're uh, downstairs in my living room entertainment center. So a mishmash of some of the figures that I've put out. A lot of my toy collection is actually still packed away, but all my anime is down there. Here we'll just go through this rando stuff first and then look at the specific animation collections later. Uh, one of my newest vices is collecting swords. So uh, the one in the back there is not from anything, but that front one, any Overwatch players out there may recognize as Genji's. So back here we have the majority of my sword collection with Geralt's sword from The Witcher and Ichigo's sword and Kisuke's sword from Bleach, another Fallout poster, Legolas's daggers, Zoro's swords, and Sasuke's sword from Naruto. Have a dagger size and full size sword of omens, Master Sword, and Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow sword from the G.I. Joe movie. And then my Arcade 1-Up collection of Simpsons, X-Men, Ninja Turtles, and Marvel superheroes, even though I'm, as I've said in the past, not a huge fighting game person. Uh, I still like that one, and it's got that Punisher game on it, which is a side-scrolling beat-em-up, and much more up my alley. And over here, uh, I've got my framed G.I. Joe catalogs from the toy inserts back in the day, uh, when I was a kid. I used to spend hours flipping through these, daydreaming about all the various toys in the series. So as an adult, I collected them all back up and framed them up so I could look at them whenever. I have my collection of books, which for those of you who are interested, 
Sir Terry Pratchett is easily my favorite author of all time. So uh, a lot of his works on here. And then some Star Wars stuff. You know, a typical nerdy bookshelf. Douglas Adams, Ari Salvatore. And then a bunch of comic-y type stuff and some RPG stuff down there. Those are my two original manuscripts for the two books I've finished so far, one of which is published. And uh, actually, right there, if you're interested, check it out. Uh, I think it's half decent. And then here's my workspace with all of the various Dr. Random Action and related websites. Uh, so this is where I do all of my recording and editing. All right, so first off, I have all of my... Studio Ghibli collection kind of separated out and my Star Blazers collection because it takes up a whole lot of shelf space and then a couple of other 80s related properties like Gachamon and Machine Robo up here plus a selection of live action anime films so you can see some of my anime collection Cowboy Bebop being one of my favorites Trigun another and of course Gachamon and then moving down, starting at the top, I've got part of my anime movie collection. I kind of separated out the movies from the uh, uh, series not too long ago. But these first few shelves are generally all movies. I'm sure if you guys slow down the video and take a look, you can see some notable gaps in my collection but <laughs> and then moving down i start actually going into series instead let me know if you think i need to move ad police down next to bubblegum crisis because you know they're part of the same series so i only have the astro boy 1980 series unfortunately that's a uh, one i need to expand on uh, big o is one that toonami watchers probably remember and Toonami really had some awesome anime as its run kind of went on, and Big O was absolutely one of my favorites. Another one that I really enjoyed you'll see coming up later on the shelf called Wolf's Rain. I just recently completed my Bubblegum Crisis collection there with uh, Bubblegum Crisis 2040. I had the original in both sets of AD Police, but I was missing that one, so that was a nice add. And then I have some space here because I haven't rebalanced yet, but I recently changed my Arrowhead 7 collection to the Blu-ray instead of the individual discs. So it freed up a lot of space for me. If you're noticing all of My Hero Pops, but you're not seeing any My Hero on the shelf, it's because I have them all digitally. I did the same thing actually with Ghost in the Shell. I had all of the standalone complex on individual discs and recently upgraded to the Blu-ray collection. It's just one of those series that the price has never gone down on. So here's some more longer form series that I've got to work my way through, like Hunter x Hunter and Inuyasha. But generally, I've watched a good portion of these. There, there are some I just haven't gotten through yet. Um, anybody who has not seen Mongolian Chop Squad or back if you prefer. I absolutely recommend this one. This is one of my favorite anime of all time. So highly recommended. Give that one a watch. Neon Genesis, I honestly just caught up with and watched the full series, though I haven't finished watching all the movies and anything or anything like that yet. It's a little hard to see back there, but Outlaw Star was another of my favorite series that ran on Toonami. Yeah, just a little bit of everything. Recently completed my Sailor Moon collection, so that should be all five seasons and all three movies from Sailor Moon there. Sergeant Frog is another guilty pleasure anime of mine. Really enjoyed that one, and uh, the kids are kind of fans of it too. I haven't decided if I want to move Blu-rays separate because as they're intermixed, I get this weird spacing on the shelves, which kind of tickles my brain the wrong way, but 
when they're moved, it means I have series that are split up, and that's even worse. If any of you are interested, that's the MediCollector.com exclusive uh, Voltron from a decade or so ago. And then, obviously, everyone needs the complete Farside and complete Kelvin and Hobbes because they're some of the best comics written. So anyway, let's go see what we have for U.S. animation. All right, all the American stuff lives here below the swords. So, starting out, I uh, actually just picked this one up recently because I didn't really have any of these 2000 series, but uh, Cartoon Network was releasing these interesting mix sets that have volumes of each show, so that's pretty neat. Avatar and Korra. I know some of you might think that those belong on the anime shelf, but... If you're wondering, yes, those are Wolverine Claws, because my blade collecting nerdiness does not stop at swords. A couple of these that I've had to pick up different multiple versions of, because things like uh, Cops here. This big box cop set doesn't have the complete series, so I ended up getting this $6 one that actually is the complete series of all 65 episodes. And then we've got uh, some of the older packaging versions of He-Man. Again, yeah, mask. I had this, this collection first, which is the expensive American one, but doesn't contain the last 10 episodes of the Mask Racer series. So I ended up having to pick this one up, which was like a $10 uh, Region 2 version that does. All the Muppet movies, I, yeah, I know they're not animation, but I decided to put them on the shelf with the animation anyway. Rambo, I was lucky enough to collect before all these went out of print, because I think the only way to get them is on these individual DVDs. And then the real Ghostbusters, I picked up one of the Steelbooks way back in the day, but they were all kind of expensive, so I didn't really get any more after that. But then they released kind of a complete series in a less impressive box set, and I was able to supplement with that. Robotech, I uh, had to buy the bonus discs from one of the Robotech releases purely to get the Sentinels because I didn't have a collection that contained it, and it's almost impossible to buy it by itself nowadays. Ninja Turtles, I'm hoping that we get a release of the Netflix uh, show sometime soon. I also would have liked if we'd gotten the Japanese series of Transformers all dubbed, but unfortunately all of my copies are sub only. And, well... I don't often read while I'm watching shows, so that makes it difficult on me. And then I also have the all of the tin versions of Voltron. But I learned the other day that one of my discs in Season 5 is all scratched up. Super sad. So then I've also got my... U.S. animated movies on their own shelf. Just to kind of keep them easily separated and easy to grab from. Although they don't all fit on one shelf, so the overflow ends up down here next to the series. And then, on the bottom, I've got all of my Marvel animation. Which... I wish Disney was better about putting out uh, all of their Marvel animation on DVD. And then all of my Star Wars animated series. With all of my Star Trek animated series up here on top. 
I've been really loving Lower Decks, but as a Rick and Morty fan, that's probably not surprising. And this uh, original 70s animated series uh, container is probably one of the coolest boxes I've ever gotten a DVD set in. So, all right, we have one more stop and let's head over there. And then this is the closet in my office where I keep some of the overflow, uh, all of my PS4 and Xbox One collection are in here with the uh, new gen games downstairs. Uh, I also keep the long running anime collections in here. So Bleach, One Piece, Naruto, Fairy Tail. And then I have a decent chunk of my board games hidden here behind the Brotherhood of Steel flag. Another Fallout reference for you. So I need to expand my social circle so I actually have somebody to play board games with. Because I don't need to, I don't get to play them quite as much as I'd like, but here they are. Some comics. I have my Hero Clicks and uh, assorted other miniatures games up there. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and get into some of the actual animation. All right, so lastly is this shelf that you might have seen earlier when we were in the closet here. Uh, but I just honestly put this one together today. It's got all of my Dragon Ball. All of the Ultraman that I collected from that ridiculous sale that Best Buy had recently I told you all about. And then all of the DC animated uh, movies and series that have come out from them in the past however many years. Which is honestly quite a lot. They've been pretty prolific, but their output's been really pretty good. Oh yeah, and uh, I guess I have one other thing to show you all too, because Dog Tyrannum Action and his brother have decided to make a guest appearance. So, say hello to everybody, Dog Tyrannum Action and weird lab assistant guy. I don't have a nickname for that one yet. Uh, if anybody's interested, his real name is Luffy. Normally Luffy hangs out with mom while the doctor hangs out in here with me. So she had to lock herself in a different room to get him to make a video appearance. And that's it. I hope you all found the tour interesting and had some fun on it. I always like it when I get a chance to talk about any of my stuff or my collections. So I appreciate you all taking the time to listen. But on that note, stay around and keep an eye out for the Dino Riders Deep Dive and Tokusatsu in America coming up sometime soon, hopefully, in the second half of 1996 this weekend. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned and stay tuned, as in cartoons. Later.